page number 129 mind workout here we have the question the figure is made up of two square here you can see two squares one two a f h e a f h e one is square and this is the second square and a rectangle this is rectangle e g c d the square has side 9 cm this square is having 9 cm each the length of the rectangle is 3 times its breadth find the area of shaded part so we have to find the area of only this shaded part first we are going to multiply 9 by 9 because a square is having 9 cm and as we know all the sides of a square are equal so length multiplied by length is 81 now we have 3 times so 9 multiplied by 6 is 54 then we have 81 plus 54 135 so the shaded area is 135 centimeter squared match journal page number 130 draw and label a rectangle and a triangle that has the same area show that the two figure have the same area here I have draw the rectangle and the triangle so the same area is 4 by 4 both side and 10 by 10 area of a rectangle is 10 to the 20 area of triangle is half multiplied by 10 multiplied by 40 because half side is of triangle so 10 fours are 40 40 divided by 2 is 20 so we have the same area of both the shapes review 6 look at triangle a b c d and fill in the blanks here is the triangle when the base is a b the height is when the base is a b the height is e c when the base is a d the height is b c here we have three figures and we have to count and solve area of figure a is half multiplied by breadth and height so the breadth and height of area a is one two three four five six and this side is of one two three four the shaded boxes complete four box and complete six box six four two ones are two two threes are six three fours are twelve so the breadth and height is breadth is one two three and the height is one two three four five six two ones are two two threes are six three threes are nine number c breadth is one two three four complete four boxes complete and then height is complete one two three four five then two ones are two 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 the four two fives are ten find the area of each shaded triangle to find the area of shaded triangle we have the formula half multiplied by breadth and height breadth is 12 and height is 6 then we cut the numbers and multiply the remainings so we are going to use the same method on each question from this page page number 133 here we have to divide the shape into different areas a b and c then we are going to find the area of different shape number one is rectangle so we have length multiplied by breadth the answer is 35 number b is triangle so we have half multiplied by breadth and height <coughs> breadth is 7 and height is 7 7 7 is a 49 49 divided by 2 is 24.5 figure c is also a rectangle 9 and 9 7 and 7 so we have 7 9 is a 63 now we have to add all the numbers of the figure a b and c 35 plus 2.4 plus 63 so the answer is 122.5 centimeters square same as it is we have to solve this page page number 134 first we have to divide the shape into different figures a b and c triangle 
rectangle and again a triangle then we have to write the base and height then we have to add the numbers a b and c so we get the area of total figure 135 is also same we have find the area of the shaded part of the figure so we have the shaded part 40 multiply by 20 first we multiply the total area of the shade so the total area is 40 multiplied by 20 is 800 800 is the total area from this we have to find the shaded part so we are going to subtract 20 and 8 because this total side is of 20 and we have only this shaded side so 20 minus 8 is 12 now we have the shape which is triangle so half multiplied by 40 this side because these two sides are opposite and this shaded side is also 40 and this side the remaining side is of 12 2 1 the 2 2 20 is a 40 20 12 are 240 so 240 minus 800 the remaining answer is 560 it means the shaded part is of 560 last question of the page chapter 6 page number 136 so here we have the shaded part of a and b both are triangles so first we have find area of a then we subtract area of a from 30 and 10 and 14 30 total area is 30 10 and 14 so the answer is 6 then we have half multiplied by breadth and height 6 multiplied by 13 and the answer is 39 now we have to add this 39 and 65 to find the total shaded area so the answer is 104 so this is the complete explanation hope you guys like it